Well, in, in terms of uh, venture capital space that we are targeting, one is internet. Still, internet is growing. Social media, and contents and games, and also cloud computing, and uh, anything with IT <coughs> related, like uh, services as well. Anything that is inefficient in terms of the industry, we go in with IT revolution and change it with the internet and IT and social media. And that area we are focusing on. Too. <coughs> what happened after March 11th tsunami and earthquake is that we have quite a few portfolio companies. Those companies which are in internet and social media space, they are growing despite the economy. Those industries which are and uh, old industries compared to internet and so forth, they're suffering like uh, uh, some uh, like restaurants and uh, uh, some kind of uh, um, events related companies, you know, they are suffering. So we have decided to target those areas which are move, uh, going faster. Well, in terms of the Japanese venture space, it's not depressed. If you look at the stock markets, when we started a vintage 1999 fund, the stock market of Nikkei was about 18,000 yen. Now it's below 9,000. So the stock market has gone down a half compared to what it used to be. And at the same time, vintage 99, most of the venture capital firms have suffered because of internet bubble. We have reported close to 10% net IRR for that fund, despite Nikkei is going down a half and despite the uh, Vintage 99 fund has been suffering globally. So that tells you that it's not depressed. And if you target the growth segments of the market and invest in good teams and buy low and sell high, you can make return. If you look at Japan, we have been suffering for this market economy. So we used to where to invest. And then people might think that Japan is depressed because of the declining population and the market is shrinking. But the growth is about roughly about the same, like 0.1%, 2%. It's a slow growth. But it doesn't mean that everything is growing slow or no growth. It means a combination of fast growth and low, like a declining industries. And all we do is invest into the area that we grow and make return. I think it's, it's uh, LPs are thinking global as a portfolio. What they don't like is uncertainties. Uncertainties about what's hap going to happen to Europe, uncertainties about what's ha going to happen to BRICS, like uh, China and India, and uncertainties about the US. In case of Japan, we have seen all those bad news and still making money, still making return. If, so if you think about the portfolio, <coughs> It's not fair to compare Japanese return versus China's return for the past 5 or 10 years. It's fair to, to compare against the US and Europe. But now on, what we have to look at is uh, what's going to happen in terms of uncertainty sectors. So in, in, in that sense, you, know, uh, you can buy low and sell high. And then uh, in terms of the economy and uh, um, in terms of uncertainty, I always say that uh, the Europe is going into tunnel. So it's very, it's, it's very difficult to see in the dark. In case of Japan, we have been in the tunnel for a long time, so we can see what's happening in the dark. So there are less uncertainties in Japan, and the valuation is attractive, and the people are good. So I think it's a very good, uh, it's, it's a very good space to be investing in.